Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm out today, it's um, the start of June, it's overcast with clouds, and a bit of sun here and there and there's a bit of wind in my direction as well which is always good when you're carp fishing. So I've got two rods set up, nice relaxed session, I'm not going to do anything um, too technical so let's see what I catch. Right, so let me show you what I'm catching these fish on. So I've got um, the one side, I've got Scopex 15 mil boilies. These are just cheap boilies. I think I got these from a car boot sale. Um, and what I've done is I've like glugged them in these little chewing gum pots um, with tutti frutti, so they're nice and sweet. And then these ones are spicy krill. And they're glugged with like halibut juice. So we've got sweet and savory sweet on the one side savory on the other so let me show you what i'm catching these fish on very simple setup i've got a lead clip on here very small lead there's not too much current in here there's not uh, too much choppy water you know it's fine i don't need to go long distance i'm underarm casting out and then i've got a swivel here some braided hook link there's the hook barbless hook with a scopex boilie that's been glugged with some tutti frutti nice generously length hair rig no need for it to be right up against the hook on a running rig i like the fish to take it and then carry on um, pulling the rest in kind of thing when it's too tight doesn't seem to work as well you do run the risks of this getting wrapped around the hook but underarm casting that shouldn't be a problem So tackle boys, today I've got my Matt Hayes Adventure Carp Rods, I've got my Crivet, I think they're 3000S carp reels that I got from Lidl Supermarket, I love those. And then I've got some green bobbins and I've got some ProLogic Commando Bite Alarms. All of these products I've done reviews on, so if you want to see the reviews on these products I'll leave links 
to those videos in the description box of this video. So far I've had five carp, three of them were on the Scopex boilies and two on the spicy krill boilies and I've just got nice simple setups like I showed you earlier and I'm underarm casting nice and close in in the summertime and it just goes to show that you don't need a complicated setup to catch carp, keep things nice and simple and you can't go far wrong. So I thought I'd just mention if you're looking for a mug to drink your tea or coffee out of when you're fishing, my friend just bought a set of these Fermo Calf by Fermos mugs with lids on. Um, good capacity, they keep the drink nice and hot, they're pretty good. I would recommend them. So if you're interested I'll leave my Amazon Associates link down in the description box. And if you buy through that I'll receive a small commission at no extra cost to yourself, it just helps the channel out. So today, again, I'm using the NGT Beanie unhooking mat. I think it's a really good product. I bought this about a year ago. I've been using it ever since. It does a really good job. It's lightweight, durable. I like the beans around the edge and it gives you something to kneel on as well when you're unhooking a fish. Comfortable to use. I think it's a good product. I would recommend it personally. I'll also leave a link, Amazon associate link in the description box to this if you're interested. So I ran out of spicy krill boilies, I'm onto the fresh tuna now and they're also working well. Even though I caught loads of carp in this session, the fish of the day went to my mate Steve with this lovely common carp of just over £15. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a good day here. And um, hopefully I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.